Hi everybody, my name's Marnie and I'm a Love Notions Ambassador. Today I'm going to take you through a really simple colour blocking tutorial and I'm going to be using the Sloan Sweater to do this. If you're anything like me, you've got a whole Pinterest board full of ideas that you'd like to copy and I'm going to show you how you can do that today. I'm going to use a really simple one, which is this one, and I'm going to try and recreate this using the Sloan Sweater. So the first thing you need is the front of your pattern piece. I've cut view B in the pattern and I've also got a ruler. What I'm going to do next is draw a line across approximately where I'd like the first fabric, that in my case, that's the leopard print, to begin and end. And I think about here would be fairly accurate. You need to pay close attention to your pictures and have a look at where um, the lines fall for colour blocking on your inspiration pictures. Pay attention to things like where it falls on the bust line and waist lines and armhole as well. Um, you really don't want a seam going right through the middle of your bust. And you also need to think carefully through the combinations that you're planning to use because a lighter colour on top with a darker colour on the bottom is more likely to emphasise a bust but minimise the tummy area. So by thinking through these things before you start, you can make something that you'll be really happy with. So once you've drawn your line on your pattern piece, you can either cut it through the middle or if you're lazy like me and you'd like to keep the pattern piece for making another sweater, I just fold it like this. Next, I've got my pattern piece ready to go and I've got my fabric for the lower portion of the jumper. And apologies for saying jumper, jumper means sweater in Australia. Make sure that the stretch of your fabric is going across across your body around your body and then cut out the bottom I'm going to cut out the bottom and the side seam as per the pattern I've got a little curve for the bottom of the armhole there but when I get to the top I need to add seam allowance so when cutting I need to add about seven millimeters seam allowance because that's what my overlocker will need to sew and because we're color blocking the sweater that seam allowance isn't included in the front of the pattern piece. Now I've got my second piece of fabric for the bit on the top and you can see my line here. I am going, you could either cut this line and have it as a separate pattern piece or I'm going to very carefully place it along the bottom of the fabric and just add a little bit of seam allowance. So you can see here that I've just added that seam allowance there before I cut. And so the seam allowance is now included and I'm going to just cut that bit out. And now I have my front pieces all ready to go. So place the front pieces right sides together and we're going to sew that seam. And there I have my front piece all ready to go. So here I have my front piece all sewn and ready to go. And I am going to do a tiny little bit of colour blocking along the top of the sleeve as well. It's all ready to go with a little bit of colour blocking. And now I'm going to sew that up. So now I have my front and my two sleeves. And I'm going to cut my back and then I'm good to go and sew it all and put it together as per the pattern instructions. And here she is, ta-da, what a beauty. Now say you wanted to do something a little bit more complex like this top with the triangular cuts. You prepare your pattern pieces exactly the same and you can see that I've put some lines across my pattern pieces. I also have printed out two sides of the front and stuck them together um, because I find when you're doing some colour blocking that goes down the length of the front and both sides aren't the same, it's much easier to do this. So. Add your lines, cut your pattern pieces, and then cut your fabric out exactly the same way as I described in the previous video. Here's my fabric pieces all cut out, lying underneath the pattern pieces, and you can see that I have added the seam allowance. So next, we're going to sew these all together, but because I've cut a diagonal across the front of the material, for some materials, especially those that are loosely knit, you might find that it stretches a little bit as you overlock it. If you're finding your fabric is stretching a little bit along the diagonal as you're sewing it, 
Adjust your differential feed and turn it up just a tiny bit on your overlocker. Also, don't forget to press your seams as this will help get rid of the waviness. Here's the front piece all ready to go after I've sewn the pieces together. I'm going to cut out sleeves and the back and show you what it looks like when it's all finished. Here's the finished product. Thanks for following along and don't forget, Sloan Sweater is the Feature Friday pattern for this week and it's also available in children's sizes so that you can make one for them as well. Thanks a lot and enjoy sewing. Bye.